we bless your holy name. Oh, Baraka Shandala Kambrodos Kerebahashte, we bless your holy name. The Baron des Cobra Shalamandala Basata, we bless your holy name. Cobra Shalamani. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Fasting are spiritual activities. They are spiritual activities. And the Word of God teaches us to do them. Prayer is not just asking God for something. The different kinds of prayers, as you know. Apart from asking God for something, you do have prayer of worship. You also have prophetic prayer. Now, I don't know what many people call prophetic prayer. But I, I can tell you what I call prophetic prayer because if you open the Bible, you will not find a particular term prophetic prayer. Okay? So anybody might want to define it any way he wants to. But um, prophetic prayer doesn't mean prayer with prophecies, it means prayer in which you tell forth the Word of God, you pour out the Word as the Word is stayed in your spirit you see you pick those words as they come in your spirit and speak them out the word of God is is stayed in your spirit and you speak them forth that kind of prayer is inspired of the Holy Ghost see so um, that's another kind of prayer and at a time like this when we have prayer and fasting the two most important types of prayer that you should have are this prophetic prayer I just talked about and prayer of worship. Prayer of praise and worship. Then also you can have intercessory prayer in which you intercede for someone else or for other people and also in which you pray about the ministry of the gospel Now, something very interesting that we need to understand is that during the prayer and fasting, you don't wait until you come to the meeting to do your praying. We are 
actually expected to come here for conclusive prayers. Which means, when we say that you're praying and fasting, you don't do the fasting in here, do you? You fast before you come. Is that right? That means you pray before you come. So you pray and fast before you come. So actually, when we come here, we ought to come with a word, with a tongue, with an interpretation. Are you hearing this? With a blessing, a word of the Spirit, a song of the Spirit, something that the Holy Spirit gave to us at our time of prayer. So we all come rich with revelation, rich with impartation of the Holy Ghost, rich with something from God. That's the way we are coming for the meeting. You know why sometimes some prayer and fast meetings are dull in, in uh, uh, sometimes people don't like to attend. Because they have a misunderstanding of what it is. They think they are expected to come there to do their praying and the fasting. No, you should have been stared in your spirit before you came. I know some people now, I don't intend to mention who they are. But you know them as well. When they are fasting, they tell the whole world, Hello everybody, we're fasting, you know, we're fasting. And you better be sure, we're fasting, we're fasting. Then, um, of course they eat both early and late. And then, uh, when it's time to break the fast, they go, Hey! Let's celebrate like, wow, we're free now. Like somebody ordered them to be punished. So, um, you're not fasting that way, are you? So is it like when you close the meeting and you, uh, you want to go out and you say, Ah, praise God, I almost died. Thank God. <laughs> Hallelujah. Okay, tomorrow, for example, I said we're going to be coming here at 5 p.m. Okay, what are you expected to do? In the morning when you get up, you spend time to pray. And when I say spend time to pray, I don't mean you pray your five minute prayer and get up. No. If you're not sure what to pray about, I can give you an idea. You can write down course one and then course two. And sometimes you include course three. So in course one, you're praying about your nation, the leaders of the nation. You're praying about the events in your nation. All right? That can be quickly done, right? Okay. You move into course two. And in course two, it's deeper. Course two is deeper than course one. Course one is fast, quick. But you move into course two and you're praying for ministers and ministries, particularly those that have been sent to you to touch your life with the word of God and you're mentioning their names you're praying for the pastors you're praying for the PCF leaders you know you're praying for your cell leaders because you've got to pray for them. They minister to you. The more you pray for them, the more God gives to them to share with you. Then you move to course three. 
where you start mentioning the names of individuals people you want to pray for and intercede for so those are causes one two and three then we call that the shallow side causes one two and three they move to the deeper the deeper side okay for cause one there you're now taking nations and possessing them in the realm of the spirit not just praying for the nation now you're taking nations and decreeing the things that will happen in those nations and in course two you're praying specifically now with revelation concerning the ministry you're talking about the vision of the ministry and, and our fulfillment of the vision so you're moving deeper now So you pray with revelation for the ministers you're praying for, for churches, for the growth of the gospel around the world. Then in course three for the for this deeper side, okay. Now you're picking individuals, not just people who have some problems that you know. Now you're calling, praying uh, in the spirit of salvation to pull men out of the darkness. You're praying and interceding for their souls. So you see the, the shallow side of causes 1, 2, and 3. You can pray like that. No, 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 no. You pray like that and before long. You're looking at your time. But when you move into that deeper end, for each of these, you have to break a little. Okay? So, I'm, I'm trying to tell you, if you say you don't know what to pray about, you can take this one. But I mentioned something to you, and I said the most important kinds of prayer for a time like this are two kinds of prayer. The first one is a prophetic prayer, and the second one is a prayer of praise and worship. Those are the two most important kinds of prayer when you're having prayer and fasting like this day one, day two, day three. The results of such praying if mixed with faith will linger a long time a long time okay um, I was the one who originally said we should pray and fast three days like this before the end of the year okay and I said that years ago and um, we've been doing that ever since so now I want to tell you why I said it from the beginning is that okay all right isn't it interesting that most people have never asked me they've never asked me even many of our pastors have never asked me You know, if you don't know the purpose of something, you may abuse it. Did you know that? If you buy an equipment and you don't know the purpose for which that equipment was manufactured, you may abuse it. 
misuse it. And you may not get the best results. And then 